Great Britain, 31-year-old. What a great story, a comeback story for Britain. He's matched up against Magomed Rasul Gazi Magomedov of Russia. Talked about the upsets in this weight class. This is the one that was really turned upside down, and Gazi Magomedov was one of those guys as he upset the world champion in the first round. And here he is wrestling for bronze against a uh, British wrestler that hadn't competed in a world championship since 2016. His first one was back in 2010, was out of the wrestling scene for a little bit, wrestled for Club Rapid Bucharest, appropriately no, no, enough, no, and now no. here he is, chance to bronze in front of some friends I'm certainly familiar with. Yeah. Contact blue. Coach Carew for Great Britain throughout his years. He's represented both Scotland and Great Britain. Now settled, he lives in Scotland. He's been wrestling for a number of years, competed at a number of world championships. Most recently was 2016 when he placed 20th. He has done so much for the sport of wrestling back home in Britain and in Scotland. He's passionate about the sport. Really an intriguing young man that holds a master's degree in sports science. He puts all of that experience, all of his education, his qualifications to good use in providing training and encouragement to kids and teenagers wanting to learn more about the sport. And you can bet he has a lot of fans watching at home, hoping that he can finish the job against the tough Russian and Gadzi and Magomedov. No score halfway through this first period. That Russian tie for Gazia Magomedov, that two on one, and now we get a whistle and we'll have a stoppage and passivity on Great Britain. He'll go up onto the uh, shot clock, 30 seconds put up on the board. Well, there's a shot springing forward was Kudja Carew. Sprawling back, Gadzi Magomedov back up onto his feet. He's able to fend it off. And the shot clock expires, so Russia goes up 1-0. Kudja Carew got away with one there. He'd really rather did. give up the one than give up the two. It's smart to try and go for the two, but didn't set up a tie and just dove in on Gadzi Magomedov. Pretty careless. Again, still working that two on one. He had it for a moment. Now puts that arm back around the tricep area. And he's in a pretty good position here. And two for Azzy Magomedov. And he goes up three nothing. Blue, open. Trying to lock up. Up around that chest is the Russian, but Koji Karu not giving him any type of room to elevate and get turned, so they'll go back into the center, but a 3 nothing deficit for Great Britain. Important 12 seconds here. Coach Karu has to get out of this period, only down 3-0. If he wants an opportunity to head in to the second period with a chance to win this match. First period in the books, 3 nothing the score. Magomed Rasul Gazi Magomedov of the Russian Federation. They've already earned a bronze today. They also have a silver in this round, trying to add another medal to their growing count. We talked about the, the dominance last year for the Russian Federation in the men's freestyle. They finished with 204 points, 44 better than Azerbaijan. And Russia as a whole, when you look at all the medals with the women's freestyle and the Greco-Roman, they ended up with 23, 12 gold, seven silver, four bronze a year ago. And you know, that, to be honest, they kept that dominance in Budapest last year at the World Championship. How about the Greco-Roman squad? Yeah. Six gold medals out of a possible 10. Incredible. Staggering statistics and numbers put up last year. And they did so without 
Roman Vlasov, the two-time world champion who had to pull out just two weeks before because he had knee surgery. And speaking of Vlasov, he will be competing here. We'll see him a little bit later over the weekend for Russia. So their big names are certainly here in Bucharest with Sadjulaev a little bit later tonight at 97. And then the big Greco-Roman score a lot of points coming up later this weekend. Speaking of points, that's exactly what Russia is doing here with Gazi Magomedov, a 5-0 lead. And Koja Karu with a cut underneath his chin. He's going to have to get that taped up, so we'll have a stoppage in the action. A little more than two minutes to go in this final period, and a tough one for Nikolai Koja Karu down 5 nothing to his Russian counterpart. And you just think, after seeing the, the way that Gazi Magomedov competed at the Ivan Uregan and then to come here and lose in the opening round, there, okay. there's only one explanation, and that could be the weight cut. Just difficulties with the weight cut. Got here, just wasn't ready to compete. Wasn't mentally prepared in that opening round and ended up dropping one, but not something you say a lot about a, a, a Russian opponent. No, not at all. One of two world champions knocked off of that opening round in this 70 kilo weight division. As the Magomedov, the 2018 world champ. Coming back here though in a big way. And the second world champion was Zurabi Ayakobiashvili of Georgia, who lost to Magomed Mered Gadziev of Poland. And that was a rematch of the 2017 World Finals. This one's going to end early. Technical superiority and nice bounce back performance from the world champion, Magomed Rasul Gazi Magomedov. Technical superiority, 11 0. Whitewashing of. Koja Karu of Great Britain and a bronze medal for the Russian Federation.